three race is done for the Polish UCI races we are doing this week. And in this video, I want to show you guys, <coughs> f you. <laughs> and in this video, I want to show you guys how we recover in between the races. So tomorrow is a one day race and the day after we start the stage race. So after tomorrow's race, I am going to show you in detail everything we do to recover as best as possible for the upcoming race the days after, including nutrition, rest and every other detail. So stay tuned. So the race is over. Didn't exactly go how I wanted. A little too far behind in the sprint. But now the recovery is starting. Getting some gummy bears in. Already drank a coke. Now it's all about just refueling and refueling the carb stores in the body. I also got there a recovery shake with some protein and some carbs to help preparing the muscles. So as I said, just focus to refuel as fast as possible. Now that the body has an extra ability to absorb carbohydrates. Going back to the hotel now to get some lunch as well. So I'll see you there. One more thing before we go to the hotel. Need to spin out the legs just to flush out the lactic acid from the race. So we're ready for the five next days. So now I have taken a shower and I'm back at the hotel eating some more uh, sandwiches while I am waiting to get a massage. The goal of the massage is to get the legs to recover faster, but I know there is some split opinions if massages actually work. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I personally think it's nice to get some extra treatment on the legs to help with the recovery and I think it improves blood flow as well. I also had a little back pain today so getting my glutes massaged will be an advantage before tomorrow's race. See you guys at dinner. <laughs> Okay, the dinner was like, yeah, you saw it. Um, we got some rice at least and some protein. I don't know what kind of meat it was, but it was something. We need to replenish our uh, carbohydrate stores more than that. So now we are going to the local shop, AKA the Wild Bean Cafe to get some candy. That'll be nice for the evening. And then we're just gonna relax, eat the candy, maybe drink some soda. And then we will be ready for tomorrow's race. See you guys tomorrow. Just woke up, got a nice nine hours sleep to help my body recover as best as possible. It's now time for some breakfast and we will keep on refueling our carbohydrate stores and also get in some nice protein. So today is a 168 kilometer race and this will be my breakfast. As you can see, I have taken some eggs, some ham and some bread. That will supply me with adequate protein before the race. So I'll be able to recover a little during the race as well. My second portion will be a bowl of cereal. That is to top up the carbohydrate stores. Some of the guys are also eating rice. I'm still a little bit tired of rice after three weeks in China, so I'll skip that today. Finally, I'll drink a coffee as well, which will help with the uptake of the carbohydrates. The caffeine will also help boost my body's responsiveness before the race. So that's the breakfast for you. Now we are going to the race. The last thing I'll do before the race is probably to eat a bar one hour before the start. That is just to keep the blood sugar stable before the race. I hope you enjoyed this short little spontaneous video. I will see you guys in the next one. Okay guys, quick recap of today's stage. I ended fourth today after I was actually going to do a lead out for my teammate. But in the end, I ended up sprinting for 400 meters. 
so the win was a little hard to get but today my legs were really good so it seems that my recovery protocol works really well and i will keep doing this for the next days as well and i hope i get an even better result in the end i will see you guys later ciao <laughs>